Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of version 1.1 of the Circuit Editor Pro. I'm actually running this particular uh, version within Ableton Live. Um, we're going to be demonstrating some advanced smart macro controls in a while. Um, wanted to run through things as they stand today. Uh, very quick recap over what's available and some of the new stuff we've added. As you can see, we're set up to have the full view control. Uh, and as we move around our patch, you'll notice that the labels will turn a different color when they're hovered over. Now, previously they would reset if you clicked on them, but as you can see, there's none of that accidental resetting now. Instead, they work on the key modifier of holding down the Alt key, which will then bring that to the reset. Now we've got various key modifiers but as you move around the um, editor shift is a modifier and what I'm going to do is I'm going to load Tom Cosm's nice and naughty pack which is a, a great concept half the half the patches are nice half of them are naughty and I'm going to use that in a, a demonstration of one of the new features that we're really excited about uh, in this version 1.1. Now, when I load a folder instead of a bank, instead of overwriting all of the files that are within the editor, it will only take those that are within the folder and it will observe the number of the patch and replace at that particular slot. So we've got submission here and let's then just click through and we can audition pretty quickly and nice and easily. Now, you also have your macro view, which is great, especially if you've got less screen estate uh, than I've got here. Uh, you, of course, can adjust the zoom control from anything down and you can set to 50% and above and anything up to 250, which is highly unlikely to fit on my screen. Excellent. So let's go back to that and bring it back to a reasonable 100. Now, now the macros themselves now have the possibility of copying them and pasting them to individuals or copying them and pasting to all if you want to create a set of macros that are identical across all eight, uh, which of course might be odd, so bring them back to how they were. However, the macro controls itself, if you hover over, you could Alt and Reset or press the Shift key and you can randomize the function. Now the random controls will explain shortly, but you also have Command or Control and Copy, which then you can move to a separate patch, different one and paste it selected patch. You may wish to use a, a common set of controls over a couple of your patches, or like the light finger patches that you'll find within our circuit patch store, you have a consistent set of macros on ones, two, seven and eight, and maybe some surprising ones per patch on the, the middle four. What we'll do is we'll go to perhaps Blabbermouth. What I want to do next, let's go to Session. And of course, with the Pro Editor, we've expanded on what comes with the Free Editor. And we've also added in the Drum Control as well. Now, as I look in the full view, and of course I can basically work through all of these and change stuff. It may be the case that I like the sound of what I'm coming up with. Excellent. I'm going to go back and fiddle around a bit. Now, I quite like that sound, but I want to play with it some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the snapshot button. Yeah, didn't like my changes. So I can now undo that and bring it back to where I started. Now, each time you use the randomization functionality, it will create a snapshot. So for example, if I chose just the oscillators here, uh, no, 
and I can keep doing that and bringing things back. Now, if I wanted to just randomize the oscillators, I could potentially hover over the oscillators title, press shift and click randomize on that basis. But you'll be aware that all of the parts of that oscillator parameter set are going to randomize each time I press the button. Now I can break that down and only actually randomize the, the parts that are dials. As you can see, they're all dials here, but if it was working on something like the LFOs, it would leave the menus alone and randomize just the dials there. Now, one of the questions that we had, uh, let's stop that for a second. One of the questions that we had on the circuit owners group was, how do I get the most out of the, the randomization? And you can do stuff with regards to the affinity, the center, the range, and the different modes effectively all of which are explained in a little bit more detail in the manual. But now we've added the opportunity to exclude certain parameters from that randomization. So if you click on the exclude button whilst you're in the random view, uh, we'll just use the oscillators so you'll be able to see it. Let's, uh, let's gray out by clicking on them, uh, roughly the first half there. And as you can see now, if we randomize that, it's only gonna randomize those that you've left to include. Make sense? Excellent. The final part and really the, the biggest uh, update that we've included within version 1.1 is our morph functionality, which we're really excited about. Morph works on a simple principle. Pick a base, pick a place you'd like to go to and you can choose to morph just the dials or morph the menus as well. You still have the opportunity to exclude certain parameters from your morphing, and you can dial in some noise to give some more, well, more unpredictability. Let's have a listen. As you can see, the UI on the screen is updating. And once you've got to a point where you enjoy the sound that you've got, you can store it to the currently selected patch. Just click on the store patch button. That's in brief the updates for version 1.1. We'll be back with another video which will explain how we can use the parameters within here with some max for live devices that are available uh, from Ableton and ourselves to create smart macros with one knob that could actually change parameters across both synths and the session, and not on just a standard linear basis. I think Mr. Lightfinger would call it the science. We'll be back with that shortly. Thanks for watching.